At the National Corvette Museum, getting eight one-of-a-kind classic cars out of a 30-foot deep sinkhole takes care. But just how much? Turns out, plenty, if any of the cars are to be brought back to life. The cars have an importance because of their history and because of their, their piece of Americana. The major challenge is to salvaging the vehicle is, is the fact that you're in an unstable environment. The sidewalls, we're still not sure how stable that they are. We still don't know if there's more collapse that, that can occur. And so ultimately, we chose the micropile approach. A micropile is a steel columns that are installed in the soil and bedrock to take the load of the structure. With the piles in place comes the next stage of recovering the vets, lifting them out of the hole. But how to get the cranes in? We were able, because of the redundancy of the columns in place, remove one of the lower portions of the column and then support its load on the two adjacent columns. This allowed us to open up an access opening for equipment to get in. After stabilizing the surrounding earth and structure, the engineer's next challenge is lifting the vets without doing any further damage. After all, some of the Corvettes have a real chance at restoration. The first cars that they brought out were sitting on top of the dirt. They were not buried. The remaining cars were buried in the dirt. Two of them were so buried, we didn't even know where in the hole they were. The main danger behind removing the cars is the fact that you've got to get in there with a crane in close proximity to the hole itself and secure workers down in the hole. We had to constantly just monitor the structure. Once cars are out of the sinkhole, the next step is filling the hole in. And for the cars, three are repaired and restored. The rest will go on exhibit as is.